Step aside, Pepsi. We're carbonating fruit now. Today we will be making caprese salad using carbonated tomatoes. These fizzy fruits will add a whole new dimension to this classic. Caprese is a salad that already has no lettuce or greens. So obviously, the next step is to make it taste like soda. To fill my diversity quota and get HR off my back, we will be using multicolored cherry tomatoes. Just make sure you're using any bite-sized tomatoes as our CO2 will better penetrate a smaller tomato. We will slice our tomatoes in half for more manageable bites down the line, and so they don't explode when carbonated. Tomatoes are often called umami bombs, but that would be taking it too literally. Now there are two main methods for carbonating tomatoes, one being to use dry ice, but dry ice can be hard to find and dangerous to handle. So for today, I will be using a cream whipper, which you also probably don't have, but you can at least order one safely online. At this stage, you can somewhat flavor your tomatoes by adding a splash of a flavorful liquid. I would suggest using some diluted balsamic, but for the sake of experimentation, today I will be using acid-adjusted cucumber juice. Now screw on the top and load one to two soda chargers based on how fizzy you want it. My favorite part about using soda chargers is how they instantly get cold after use. It's just like how your girlfriend becomes instantly cold to you when you say her sister is hot. Now I put the little cap on just in case, but I'm not entirely sure it does anything. And then let it rest in your fridge for a few hours. Now we will prepare a toasted panko topping for our salad. I'm not a huge fan of croutons in my salad, but one time I had a caprese salad that had small croutons in it and I really liked it. I realized the smaller the crouton, the more I liked it. So I'm using the smallest crouton I could think of, breadcrumbs. Therefore, I'm dubbing these crumtons. Toast your panko in a dry pan, season liberally using salt, let your ghost roommate help you out a bit, and then add in some olive oil. Now take some small mozzarella balls, which unlike normal cheese that comes from female cows, mozzarella balls come from male cows, and mix your panko into your balls. Your panko should stick due to the moisture. Now before you open your cream whipper, make sure to release all the CO2. Cover your nozzle using a cup to catch any spray. Trust me, it'll be like a Nerf Super Soaker filled with that tomato-y pre-cum you get when you first squeeze a ketchup bottle. Speaking of pre-cum, once you dump the contents of your whipper, the tomatoes will look like they just came back from an OnlyFans meet and greet. You can tell it worked by the bubbles you get from squeezing your tomatoes. Now for assembly, I'm going to do it by hand to make it look real nice for my thumbnail. But really, you're just making a pile and sticking a sprig of basil on top. This dish needs to be eaten before your tomatoes go flat, so I would try to do this quickly. It may sound finicky, but the tomatoes can be prepared way ahead of time, so it's just a matter of planning. And finally, tuck in the only leaves in the whole salad. To be honest, this is a pretty fun twist on a caprese. The soft cheese, the crunchy panko, and the fizzy tomatoes, there are a lot of different textures at play. Normally, this dish relies solely on the acidity from the tomatoes to cut through the richness from the mozzarella. But the sharpness we added using the carbonation helps achieve that in a whole new way. I'm going to let my ghost roommate have a few bites so he doesn't cause a poultrygeist. Sorry, poltergeist. <laughs> 